I want to introduce you guys to a special friend of ours. This right here is Heidi Berries. So here's the deal with Heidi Berries. Back when we first moved to Brooklyn, we lived in this cool little apartment in Borum Hill. It was a garden apartment. Soon after we moved in, Allison decided that she wanted to get a plant. And there was like this little garden store uh, right down the street from our apartment. And she went in one day and she came back with this little pot. She said was, hey look, it's an alpine strawberry. And so because it was an alpine strawberry and because Allison's often prone to naming things, alpine, you associate it with, uh, you know, the, the story of Heidi, the little girl in the Alps. Who are you? I'm Heidi. And I'm going to live with Adolf Kramer, my grandfather. <laughs> Here we ended up having Heidi Berries. Heidi was not nearly this big. I want to say it was like a container yay big when we first got her. But as the years have gone on, she's grown. She produces these interesting sort of long, narrow strawberries that are super sweet. Uh, she produces a lot of them. Let me give you a little up close view. Oh yeah, look, look, you can see it right here. See that? See that little white and yellow flower right there? That is a berry in the making. So let's see, I think we got her in 2010. So we've had her for um, almost eight years or so now. We brought her everywhere we lived, you know? When we moved apartments and moved to a different part of Brooklyn, uh, we brought Heidi Berries with us. When we left Brooklyn and, and went to the row house down in DC, we took her with us. When we sold the row house and I came to this tiny little apartment here in DC, took her with us. And now I'm getting ready to bring her up to the farm. This summer, she's gonna break out of the container. I'm gonna to try to break her up a bit and take uh, some of the runners and, and little uh, pieces and and actually plant her in a number of different places around the farm and see if I can get uh, those same alpine strawberries all over the place. But I will say, my plan is also to keep a certain portion of Heidi Berries in the bucket because she has been a container strawberry plant for so gosh darn long, I'd hate to run the risk of having her um, I don't know, get some sort of shock or, or have something bad happen. And so um, there will always be a variation of Heidi Berries in a bucket, but I also, I also hope to have um, more Heidi Berries scattered all across the farm um, in, in future years to come. Mm -hmm.